Hi there, I'm Zapladen, and today we're going to look at how to use masking in InDesign. InDesign has a few different approaches you can take when it comes to creating masks. In this video, we're going to go over some of the various ways you can create masks by using frames. When you import an image into InDesign, it automatically creates a frame for you. This, in a way, is a form of masking in of itself. You can clip an image simply by moving the edges of the frame lines like this. However, we can also use frame shapes to create a mask effect. Let's try using a circle shape to create a mask, rather than the default rectangle shape. First, select the circle frame tool from the toolbar. Now drag and drop. If you want a symmetrical shape, remember to hold down shift as you drag. Once you release the circle, you have now created the shape. This will be the shape of our mask. To get an image into an existing frame such as this, we can open up an image that's on the stage, cut or copy it. Now we use the selection tool to select our frame. From here, go to edit and paste into. And there you have a circle clipping mask for your image. There will be times when you need a more complex shape rather than rectangles, circles, and pentagons. To do this, we can create a frame with the pen tool. Select the pen tool from the toolbar. Then make your selection. It's a good idea to do this directly on top of the image you're masking. Finish up the shape and close it off. Notice that it has now become its own frame. Adding the image to this is the same as the process as before. We simply just cut the image, then we go to edit, paste into where the shape is selected, and there you go. I think you can see how versatile this form of masking can be. Something else we can do is create a clipping mask out of text. Instead of tracing over this text with a new shape, we can go to Type, then Create Outlines. Now just in the same way as previously, we can cut an image and paste it into the new layer shape. And there you have it. This was a brief overview of the various masking features you can use with frames. If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.